Hello guys, good day to all, this is Mike Paduan, we're back to our latest analysis. This is for today, Thursday to Saturday, August 29 to 31, 2024. This is our English version, brought to you by Typhoon 2000 and Naga College Foundation. But before we begin, we'd like to uh, thank our partners, Aboitis Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands Sustainable with you. If you're interested, just click on the link up here. Or if you're watching via Facebook, visit the description page for more details regarding BPI Sustainable with you. And also one of the uh, best hotels in uh, the Bicol region and Naga City, Avenue Plaza Hotel. The local government of Naga City, headed by our Honorable Mayor Nelson Legacion and our Honorable Congressman of the 3rd District of Kamakini Sur, Congressman Gabi Bordad. So let's begin with our update. Here's the latest GovSat that we created today, and this is valid until tomorrow, Friday, August 30th. The southwest monsoon has receded a bit, but still affecting the western sections of uh, the Philippines, and that includes uh, Mimacopa and some areas of western uh, Visayas, including the Ghost Island region and uh, western Mindanao. And you will observe that for the past 48 hours after those heavy rainfall that were observed due to this typhoon, the southwest monsoon has dramatically weakened and it's most of the convective monsoonal clouds are located along the West Philippine Sea. The reason behind that is because Typhoon Sunshine already made landfall this morning over western Kyushu and it's now rapidly weakening and later tonight it will be downgraded into a severe tropical storm as it moves into the middle of Kyushu okay and down south we are observing a surface trough this robust area of uh, convection which is likely to become a low pressure area within the next 24 hours so likely tomorrow Friday and Saturday we might be having a new low pressure area and this is uh, much lower in latitude to the east of Bindanao and uh, it might become a tropical depression or even a tropical storm within the next uh, three to five days and most likely this weekend we might be seeing a uh, tropical cyclone within the Philippine area of responsibility the power line is somewhere here and based on the computer models, this system will track towards the Philippine Sea and uh, eventually it, may, uh, it might become a uh, tropical depression or a tropical storm. But most of the computer models, the American model and the European model, suggest that this system will not uh, make landfall over the Philippine uh, archipelago, but it will track towards the north and then uh, move uh, slightly north northwest into the general direction of Okinawa within the next uh, five days. So that will be the scenario. So what will be uh, the expected uh, effects to our country? Directly, we don't have any uh, problem, but indirectly, we have the southwest monsoon. And there is also another system that may form west of Luzon or west of Manila, once uh, this uh, potential uh, storm moves towards Okinawa. Okay, so we will keep you updated, especially this weekend, if uh, this system becomes more active and we will be issuing updates on this uh, low pressure system that is set to develop by uh, tomorrow, becoming an LPA. Right now, it's still a surface trough, but starting to uh, organize within the next 24 hours so here's the uh, fast animation you can clearly see here this area of uh, uh, improving circulation south of uh, uh, Guam and here's uh, Shanshan uh, slowly de decaying over Kyushu so this will be the area of concern for the next uh, five days especially next week first week of September we might be having another cyclone, letter E, on the Pagasa alphabet. I didn't check the name yet of Pagasa, 
but later on in our next uh, uh, video analysis we'll be giving you the name of that okay so here's the uh, zoom in satellite animation from windy.com these are now the uh, southwest monsoon uh, rain bands uh, just over the west philippine sea and we might uh, still experience thunderstorms over uh, northern and central Luzon, including uh, parts of Metro Manila. Bicol region has been relieved with uh, uh, good weather right now. And no more rain. But uh, in the coming days, a uh, round of uh, localized thunderstorms will again return. Here over Mindanao, we have uh, thunderstorms brought about by the uh, southwest monsoon, but it's starting to weaken as I speak. And here's the uh, uh, wind adventure forecast from the European model for the next three days. And we'll uh, forward this until uh, September 7 to show to you the scenario of this uh, potential LPA. So tomorrow Friday, here comes now the LPA uh, developing and 31 uh, becoming a, an active LPA or even a tropical depression since uh, the uh, values of the models are are very uh, conservative okay and on sunday it might develop uh, roughly 500 or 600 kilometers east of Bicol region and on monday september 2 it will start to move towards the north september 3 recurving towards the north northeast the power line is somewhere here so it's way, way inside the Philippine area of responsibility. So this is the uh, power line. And then on uh, Wednesday, September 4, it will be along the uh, western edge of the Philippine area of responsibility as a tropical storm or a severe tropical storm. And we have now the southwest monsoon affecting the western sections of the country. So watch out again for another round of rainfall. And on Thursday, it will start to uh, slow down as it uh, moves towards the west-northwest in the general direction of uh, Okinawa. Okay, Okinawa Islands are the uh, southern part of Ryukyu. Or Ryukyus, I mean. So this will be on uh, uh, September 6. So we expect next week the southwest monsoon to return if this LPA will become a uh, tropical uh, cyclone. And on Saturday, September 7, that system will be approaching Okinawa as a well-developed uh, severe tropical storm or even a typhoon. So that will be the forecast from the uh, European model, which we trust all along. While uh, the American model, we don't deal first with that. The uh, forecast is very tricky. Use the ensemble of the European model from easternwave.com. And uh, here's the uh, track of uh, Shanshan. And this is now the uh, area of concern. And most likely, this will be the path of that uh, weather system. Or that uh, new potential tropical uh, cyclone. So that will be next week, between September 1 to 7. So we will be uh, all eyes on this system. Well, there's a possibility also of another LPA forming here, but the ensemble is just uh, a few. Okay, so nothing to worry yet. And here's another system forming along the uh, middle latitude, moving towards the open waters of the western pacific so this is the area of concern we are going to uh, uh, keep you updated in the coming days here is the rain forecast for the next three days until september 1 and you can clearly see here these are the rainfall of up to 50 millimeters for the next three days in total rainfall due to the southwest monsoon and this violet one is the low pressure system that could develop into a tropical depression or even a tropical storm. Okay, so that will be until Sunday. Luzon, including Bicol, will also experience thunderstorms. So mostly these are thunderstorms every day until September 1, mostly in the afternoon or evening. But in the morning, this is well good weather. Okay. 
But here, there might be some rain showers and thunderstorms even in the morning. So it depends on the formation of these uh, cumulonimbus clouds. Now for the wave forecast, uh, the wave height here over the West Philippine Sea is beginning to weaken as the Southwest monsoon uh, uh, starts to uh, slow down or uh, weaken a bit. On Friday, it will be uh, down to less than uh, 2 meters. Okay, and Saturday to Sunday, all the uh, uh, coastal waters will be uh, up to uh, 1 to 1 1.5 meters here and 2 meters here over the East Philippine Sea because of the developing LPA, while over the inland waters will become to up to a half a meter in wave heights, so suitable for fishing and sea travel as well. Also here over the West Philippine Sea, it will be uh, around uh, 1 to 1.5 meter in wave heights. So, so far, it's still good for the weekend until Sunday. And before we leave you, here's the latest uh, Global Tropics Hazard Outlook from the Climate Prediction Center of NOAA. Valid for the next uh, 2 to 3 weeks. And it looks like for the next 2 to 3 weeks, the Philippines will be under the influence of... Uh, an increasing or high probability of tropical cyclone formation. Now let's take a look at the week 2, valid September 4 to September 10. Over the uh, northern part of the Philippine Sea, including Batanes, uh, also uh, Taiwan, we'll have more than 60% of tropical cyclone formation, while the rest of the Philippine Sea will be from 20 to uh, 50%. So most likely this is from 20 to uh, more than 60 percent of a tropical cycle formation between September 4 to 10 and that's now the LPA that we are mentioning about and on week 3 valid September 11 to September 17 which is still highly uncertain continued the uh, high probability of a tropical cycle formation of more than 65 percent is expected over the uh, uh, Philippine Sea so we will uh, monitor that situation okay so there you go that's the latest for this thursday and we will return this weekend for the very latest on that lpa if it does develops into a tropical cyclone we will be issuing daily uh, youtube updates as well as over out at our facebook uh, channels uh, for the very latest on this uh, uh, potential cyclone this is mike padua saying uh, have a great week, stay safe always, and thank you so much for watching our channel. See you again soon.